I'm standing on Shell Beach here with Guernseyman John Rothwell, who visits the island many times during the year. And John, you're staying with us in Fisherman's Cottage at this moment in time. What is it that draws you back to the shores of Herm Island so many times? Just because I think, because it's unique, it's, it's just so different. I mean, every time I come, it's different. I come right through the year, um, I mean, look at it, end of October, I'm in shirt sleeves. I'm actually too warm with these, with these waders on. Um, it's beautiful, it's just so different to anywhere else you can travel in the world, in my, in my view. Excellent, thank you very much. You're holding a fishing rod and you've got some friends out there at Alderney Point. What are, you, what are you hoping to catch today, do you think? Well, primarily bass. That, that's what we're after. And um, Herm can be a very good place for bass, um, either with baits or with plugs, which is what I'm using today, which are either, you know, this type, type of thing, which is a plastic one, or you use the surface poppers, which go along the surface and attack the fish. Or there's these, which, which go just underneath the surface. And the, the idea of these is they imitate a wounded fish. So the bass instinct is to is predatory. Um, and they're going to hit that and then hopefully we catch a bass for tea and that's what it's about really. Beautiful place. Fabulous. But there are other places that you can fish on on Herm Island and presumably possibly for, for a different catch? Oh you can catch, uh, I mean where we are at the moment, Alderney Point, there's mullet there, there's black bream there, um, but there's, you can catch uh, black bream, red mullet, all the other sort of species you can think of off places like Belvoir, um, Alderney Point, off the front of the harbour as well, off the harbour is a very good place. I've had bass and bream and all sorts, gilthead bream, all sorts of fish. Uh, Putrine is a little island around the back which, which is above the camp, below the campsite um, and there you'll get garfish, pollock, mackerel in the summer, beautiful places. Ex lots and lots of places. Excellent, excellent. Now your company, Guernsey Fishing Guide, actually can bring people over to the island or you can come over and, and see those people on the island that are staying here and show them places to fish. Tell, tell us a little bit about Guernsey Fishing Guide. Oh, Guernsey Fishing Guide is something I started about five years ago. And because I've fished since I was eight years old and I'm semi-retired, um, I can have the, the, the time to actually show my, my skills, hopefully my skills and my experience of, what, 40 plus years, 50 years of fishing. Um, and I love taking people fishing. It gives me so much, so much pleasure of people catching the fish when I've shown them where to go. And we've had lovely fish, you know, we've had bass and pollock and, and wrasse and all sorts of species of fish that people have never caught. So yes, I do bring people across from Guernsey, but also I offer a service in Herm as well, where I'll take families, single, you know, the father that wants to get, get away for a couple of hours, whatever. Um, and I will do um, a, a fishing trip that suits them. So if they want to go and catch bass, then that's what we'll, we'll target. Uh, or we'll just do a dental fishing where we'll go and catch wrasse and pollock and, and, and garfish, whatever they want to catch really. Um, and the other beauty of that coming to Herm is I always say to people is that if, if the family want to come for a, a full day and the father wants to do half a day, then come across that as a family and then meet up afterwards. Have some lunch in the mermaid, um, make a day of it. Beautiful. Absolutely. Sure. And you have a website which people can Google at uh, Guernsey Fishing Guide. Yes. And what, what number could they get hold of you on just uh, to, to, to be able to book you in advance? 077 841 And you'll get me any time on that phone. Excellent. OK. And last question, John. Um, do you have a favourite place on Herm? Ooh, that's difficult. I like Shell Beach, but I would, I would suspect that... Um, I would, what place I call the Blue Lagoon, which is in front of the White House, and it's the, it's the, it's the gully that, that floods with water. I like fishing off there, so that's the Rose Air side, basically. And when you see that at low water, and you can walk across the reefs and stuff like that, that's where I like to be, yeah, definitely. Excellent. Well, I wish you and your friends luck uh, later on this afternoon, and okay. hopefully you'll be having sea bass for tea. <laughs> we'll see. Thank you. Thank you very much.